Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel. This is Athena Kappa and I'm here to talk about my personal experience. My Medusa personal experience, or as you want to call it, Piltron, because it has both names. So I have here my notes, because I would have liked to forget anything important. And let's get right into it. Um, so... I got it down in May of uh, 2015. Uh, it cost me 13 euros, uh, which is a kind of a high price. Um, I don't know. But the person place was really awesome, really good, really clean. The person was amazing, really gentle. Everything was great about it. I loved it. I loved the place. And so the pain the level from the scale from the scale of zero to ten I give it a one uh, I don't know if I have a high pain tolerance I guess but if I wanna do something if I want to get something done I'd be patient and even if it hurts it'd be like okay it'd be over and have something that I like for the rest of my years. Um, through the filter, filter, many nerves are passing through, so that makes it a sensitive uh, spot. So for some people, especially if you have a low pain tolerance, it may hurt more. But yeah, and the skin is thicker than the leaf over here. So I had a person then here that I don't have anymore and it hurt kind of less and this hurt a bit more because the skin is thicker um, but still nothing too bad for me it was like eh, nothing too painful yes uh, but if you have a low pain tolerance it may hurt slightly more for you but still I don't think that would be any excruciating pain nothing too bad. Um, so, the aftermath. Um, for some days you're gonna have to deal with some swelling, of course, it's the first thing, your body does not know that you did that on purpose, and will try to, I don't know, reject it. Is that a way of the body trying to reject the person? Yeah. But it was so, swell a bit, but yeah, I would wake up uh, for like four days and my upper lip would be like I had some lip fillers, which is not bad in my opinion. It looked nice, it looked fuller, which I liked. But yeah, it'd be irritated, you cannot touch it and you should not touch it, but I'd say the tips of uh, you know, the care after, uh, but you know, it's a bit irritated, it hurts a bit, it's swollen, um, but I'd wake up the swollen, and then during the day, the swollen would go down, so nothing too bad again. Um, for the care, um, I'd use a golden pad just to clean it up outwards outwards outside uh, from a lid and inside uh, take a cotton pad dip it into a uh, normal saline and clean it up and you remain around the person you want it to be as clean as possible like two or three times a day um, my piercer said that it would be good but if uh, during showering I uh, get some warm water in my mouth and just do like that and it'd be good for the person so I do that as well. Um, then I'd use like mouthwash again to keep any bacteria out of my mouth to keep everything clean inside because uh, 
you don't want your mouth to be as clean as possible, you don't want your person to get infected. And of course, don't touch the damn piercing guys, because it's, um, it's an open wound, you know, you want it to heal, now I can touch it, but you should not touch it, you should stay away from it, just clean it up and let it alone for like, uh, I don't know, uh, just leave it alone until it heals completely. And I'm a nail biter, a huge fucking nail biter, and for the time, for the healing process, for the whole time, I did not bite my nails. Because you don't want all this bacteria, all this shit, all this dirty, nasty stuff in your mouth. You don't want your person to get infected. So please just keep your nasty nails out of your mouth. And I kept my nasty nails out of my mouth, but I when it healed, I went back into nail biting. So that's fucked well, but you know the struggle if you buy your nails as well. Um, yeah, uh, for me, I had a quicker healing time, like after one week and a half, uh, my person, I think, was completely fine and it was completely well, it looked good, it still does. Um, so I had an amazing person experience, nothing bad happened, but I did take care of it as I said. No touching, clean it out twice or three times a day, mouth works, all that stuff. Just the main thing is to keep it as clean as possible. And yeah, I think that's the key to have a quick and easy uh, healing process. Um, so I consider it a, a not painful person. Uh, and not too painful uh, person. Um, I think it's really pretty, really cute. It's in the center of your face. Uh, it really shows. Um, I think it's gorgeous and special for women. I don't know. I'm not saying that men cannot have an Medusa person, but I find it amazing on women. And, yeah, nothing, nothing crazy. I mean, really, the nice person, really quick uh, healing process. Everything was amazing. So, just a little calm, maybe uh, I can say. Uh, is that you end up with a scar in the middle of your face when you decide to take it off. Uh, sometimes when I take it off uh, to wax my moustache or something, uh, I see the scar and I'm like, meh, I'm, I'm, the scar is there. And probably if you take the, the jewelry out, it will close down, but I don't know, the scar is there, it's in the middle of your face, so it's a bit, it's not really pretty. Uh, but honestly, in my opinion, I do not care for it. I really like the person, I really like the way it looks, so I'll see what I'm gonna do about the scar later when uh, someday I'll decide to take it out. So I just want to, to let you know that. If you want to have this person down, you, you should think on the scar. But for me, it's not a problem. It's not a problem. I don't think about it. I love my Medusa slash filtering person. And yeah. So, guys, I think that's all I have really to say. Uh, thank you so much for watching, if you got any questions, and if you like to share, whatever, comment down below. So, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video, I love you, and 
I'm gonna see you next time. Bye bye.